We're starting out, this is uh, really a fun exercise and it goes very quickly. And what we're doing is we're doing what we call pen and ink line drawing. And once we get, I have started out by drawing on my watercolor paper with a pencil and you may or may not be able to see the lines that are on here. The lines are on here to kind of direct me. I do not want to fill in every line. I want to break the lines. So you'll see as I draw, um, this is a Micron 03 uh, pen uh, with ink in it. And I am going to start by outlining, but not outlining. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break the lines so it looks more natural. And so as you come up and around, you kind of skip a beat or go around and fill in. And the idea is you're going to go over this several times. And so I'm very quickly going to draw in, create some line so that you know where you're going to put your watercolor at. So this actually goes very quickly. You just draw. I don't know, like I say, I don't know if you can even see the lines I have on the paper. But you'll see them appear as I draw with my pen. This is a uh, pen filled with ink. And it's really, uh, really nice. You can buy them individually or you may buy a set of these. And uh, they come in different sizes. I know a lot of people like to draw with an O2 or an O3. This particular one just happens to be an O3. I like to start just outlining, and you can see I've started some of this, and then I go back and I start pulling some lines in where I'm going to want to shadow at. Um, and don't put them everywhere, just kind of where you think that you're going to be doing some shading or shadowing to give some more definite direction to the flower itself. And so I'm just pulling some lines in, following my outline, following the curve, following the curve of the petal. and then I like to go ahead and pull a stem or two or a little bit of a, um, a leaf off to the side and that's really easy to do wiggle and jiggle a little bit and just pull some flower line in I like to go back and you'll see me go back over these flowers several times here's another one I just drew with pen and ink didn't bother to use my pencil I don't think they turn out as nice but it goes to show you can do it either way uh, like I say, you have a tendency to overdraw the flower when you do it like this. But it, they really do, for a very quick thank you note, these work out extremely well. They're really kind of a fun little exercise to do. I see I haven't finished this one flower over here, so I'll go over and pull in some line. to do and these pens are wonderful. There are many pens that are water soluble. This one is not. Um, with a water soluble pen, you take once you get them drawn on, then you take a wet brush and you can move the lines anywhere you want to move them and they're great for doing landscapes and for shadowing. These are permanent ink pens and they are meant to be permanent. They are meant to uh, no matter where you put a line, it will be there when you put watercolor on this paper. And, uh, all right. I'm going to pause a minute and finish uh, a couple of lines, and I'm going to get the watercolor out, and I'm going to show you how to do watercolor on here.